What is going on guys? It's Justin from the J Media back in another video. So today we will be dropping off my Honda S2000 at my buddy Mike's place. So a few videos back you guys might have saw the RCF recently got ceramic coated and we'll be doing the same for the S2000. I know I recently did the S2000 ceramic coat. Uh, I've done it myself on the Lancer as well as my S2000 but it's too hot these days especially during summertime in Texas. And I also did get my new Voltex front bumper put on. We have the fenders repainted as well as the hood repainted. So pretty much the whole front end is all fresh paint which means that it's due for another ceramic coat. Uh, I was debating between PPF and ceramic coat and um, I was pretty close in getting PPF but you know PPF is a lot more expensive. Uh, I won't be able to do the whole car so even the front end itself will be really expensive but what really made me decide to go ceramic coat was that with PPF say a few years later if you do have to peel it off or anything like that the coloring discoloration between the front end as well as the other parts of the car is going to be pretty huge. So I decided might as well just ceramic coat it and protect it. So yeah, we're going to be dropping off the S2000 today. And uh, to commemorate that, I'm also wearing an S2000 shirt. The S2000, uh, you can see the RPM right here. And then on the back of the shirt, you can also see the S2000. So it's a red S2000 just like my new Formula Red with the Voltex Racing front bumper. So if you guys are wondering where you can pick this up, uh, I actually went to the California Fujiwara Initial D shop. Uh, I wanted to purchase this shirt, they had it there, but um, they didn't have my size, so I bought it online. Finally came in, so we're gonna rock the S2000 shirt today. So here we have the S2000 in the garage, and she's sitting beside her red sister, my Lexus RCF. So yeah, RCF is freshly ceramic coated. Now we're gonna do the S2000. We're gonna drop it off at Mike's house and uh, it should be a pretty quick 24 hour turnaround time. All right, so let's go ahead and fire up the S2000. We'll be moving her out of the garage. Just fired up the S2000. She sounds great. Honestly, after driving the RCF for a daily driver for a while, uh, this car is way more quiet because there's no exhaust. So when I drive the S2000, it feels like it's pretty rowdy because it's loud. But yeah, I love the S2000. It's just such a day and night difference between these two cars. We'll probably do a comparison video between my two red cars in a separate video. But yeah, pain, like I said, front end's all fresh. The front bumper is fresh paint, the hood as well as the fenders all got redone to make sure it's nice and smooth and repainted. Um, but ever since I got it back from Long Shop, I haven't actually had it uh, washed yet. So they washed it before I picked up the car, but it's probably been about a month and a half now, I think. And um, she's due for another wash. Might as well get it ceramic coated. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go get it nice and coated uh, and it's gonna look really good. Alright, S2000 is all ready to go. Looks great in the sun, but she needs a wash. And it's super hot. It's been really hot summer this year in Texas. Uh, so, I'm gonna drive with the top up. I know I say that convertibles are meant to be driven with the top down, but it's way too hot. I wanna say this summer, the hottest I've seen is 112 degree Fahrenheit. Uh, so super duper hot, it's dry here, so I'm going to drive with the AC on. <laughs> right, do a little pull for you guys, third gear. So we just got over here to Mike's place, he's going to be working his magic for uh, the ceramic coat. So we just did the RCF uh, pretty recently, so um, yeah, right now he's gonna do the S2000 and it's a little bit dusty, hasn't been washed in maybe like a month and a half <laughs> since, got since it got it painted, you know? Did you uh, ceramic it already? I did a while back, okay. yeah. So just dropped off the S2000, Mike will start working on it here today. 
um, so he's gonna go ahead and wash it down if anything needs buffing you know he'll do all that so yeah everything's gonna look nice and mint and then he'll get to putting it in the garage the ceramic coat the entire car All right, so Mike just went ahead and washed down the S2000. Looks so nice and spotless. But before he uh, starts, you know, getting ceramic coating done, he's just gonna go ahead and buff it out. So, you know, if there's any like swirl marks, stuff like that, what ceramic coat does is pretty much embeds it in there. So you wanna make sure it's nice and fresh. Uh, when I did ceramic coat myself a while back, you could see some little spots there. So, you know, hopefully you're able to get stuff like that off. Hopefully put it off. So yeah, with serving coat, like I said, you want to make sure your prep work is done. Uh, otherwise, you know, whatever stuff you have in there is just just gonna be stuck in there for a while with the ceramic coat over. Yeah, nice. Just a little buffing, got that nice spot out. So Mike was saying, you, you're saying something about the hazing. It's because I left it on for you too left long. It too long, and once, once it's hard enough, it's too late. You gotta buff it out. I so see. So you gotta time to kind of. That's why people do it like section at a time. Yeah. I know people that's so lazy. They just do the whole car and that, come back and. <laughs> Well, I didn't do the whole car, but I do like a pretty big piece. Yeah, you probably forgot. There, yeah, there that's, that's my problem, yeah. yeah. It, was, it, it was, uh, what is it? It's, it hardened up. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's my mistake. Rookie mistake. <laughs> be leaving the S2000 behind with Mike and Mike is giving me a ride again in the Acura so yeah this should be done uh, pretty quick he pretty much already washed on the car as well as uh, did some of the buffing and then pretty much uh, all that's left is just get it ceramic coated and uh, pretty fast turnaround time so again if any of you guys want to protect your car's paint you know from like you know the rain bird poop stuff like that uh, make sure to hit up Mike he's here in Central Texas so let him know I'm gonna link his Instagram page as always so make sure to check him out um, and sometimes he does have deals going on as well so whether you own a modified car or a stock car it's always good to protect your pain so yeah many hours later all right so my s2000 has been all freshly ceramic coated right now we have the wifey taking me over to mike's place to pick the car up so yeah just like the rcf uh you know it's pretty much a quick turnaround time of about 24 hours uh last night you guys saw little snippets i was able to hang out with mike uh he was washing down the car buffing out some of the spots they were a little bit hazy so yeah, um, you know, maybe in the future I'll invest in a little buffer as well. Uh, he was telling me which one he got. It's not too expensive, so, you know, for car shows or anything like that, it's always good to buff it out, little small scratches, and get the nicest shine out of it. Um, but yeah, ceramic coat is all done, all good to go. Uh, we'll pick it up, put it back in the garage, and let it cure for, you know, a day or so. Just got over here to Mike's place in... The S2000 is all freshly ceramic coated down. Yeah. Looks great. Paint really shines in the sun. Oh, it looks so good. Also, we didn't notice that there's a little nail in the rear tire, so it's pretty close to the sidewall. Uh, hope we'll be able to make it home safe. We've got to get that patch eventually. Hopefully don't have to change a new tire. We'll see. Alright, we just made it back home in the S1000. And I want to say a big thank you to Mike. He actually gave me a car part for free. He gave me this uh, Vertex turn signal extension. 
um, yeah this is something that I actually also have on my Mitsubishi Lancer turbo show build what it is is you pretty much put it on your turn signal extension right here well we do need the hardware but you just slap it on like that you know extra JDM points uh, he previously had it on his Civic Type R, his FK8 that he sold, so he no longer needs it. So yeah, big thank you to you, Mike. Alright, and this is how it looks. I just parked it in the garage. It looks amazing. It's flawless. Oh, S1000 looks so good. Freshly ceramic coated. So we're just going to leave it in the garage to cure. For the next few days, don't plan on driving this car anyway, so... Let's just let it sit in the garage. Hope you guys like it. Again, if you guys sit to the end, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.